So my plan for this trip was to head to Walmart with $100 in my pocket and see what I could come away with in terms of camping gear. My main focus for the trip was the big three or my sleep system, which is a tent, sleeping bag and sleeping pad and see how it fares compared to some of my more expensive gear. So in here is where I've got all the stuff that I went and purchased, but obviously there's some other things in here that I didn't purchase at Walmart. Uh, the bag obviously I didn't purchase at Walmart. This is actually my stepson's bag that he's had for a number of years that he used to take with. He went to the Boy Scouts and camping, summer camps and things like that. But there's a couple things here. Like I say, I tried to focus on uh, the big three items, the tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, and then some other little bits that I picked up when I had money left over. So let's, let's go through and take a look and see what I got. So first item I grabbed is obviously this tent, the little shelter. A little one man tent it says it's seven foot six by three feet inside. It weighs three, three and a half pounds, which really isn't bad compared to uh, some of the other tents. But I don't know how well it'll breathe and how waterproof it'll be, but we'll see. We'll set it up and see what it looks like. Okay. It's only got one, it's only got one door. Okay, well, pretty standard pegs, but they're pretty heavy duty. You could probably change these out to something lighter. They've got a pretty flat end on the old peg. It's pretty thick. It's got these little pins on both ends and a one pole design. Take it like so. Put my pin in. Come on, pin. Oh, that's got all filled with snow now. Feels like no matter where you go these days, there's an aeroplane flying over your head. Even in a pandemic. Like where are you going, people? Where are you going? Okay, it's looking like something. And it comes with this other little bar. And I guess, is there a thing here? There's one there. Do we want to go over? No, probably, probably under, probably under, would make more sense, there's one, go on lad, go on son, there we go, that doesn't, well, I mean, it's not going anywhere, so... So which side? Oh, they're both open. Wow, that's saucy. Which side would I get in? This one. So we take this. And we take this. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Ow. Take up our, our, our bashing rock. Get in there. Alright. So there's a little one man tent. Look. We've got a mesh on this side and then round the back we have this bit that lifts up. You pull that out, I guess. Let's take it down. And there's a mesh vent under there. So I'm not too convinced on airflow. 
but the difference between lack of airflow in the winter and lack of airflow in the summer is probably pretty big because in the winter I want it to to trap as much heat and keep me as warm as possible where in, his, in the summer when it's hot I want the breeze to get in there it's probably not as good but we'll find out okay so like I said my focus was on the three items my shelter sleeping pad and sleeping bag and I got a cold weather mummy sleeping bag it says its comfort level is 10 degrees Fahrenheit this thing weighs 5.7 pounds it says it's seven foot one inches long so that should fit me fine it's synthetic so we'll see how that goes obviously like I said I've got a foam sleeping pad which is the item I'm most worried about to try and counteract this I grab one of these little reflective tent things and my plan is to put it in the bottom of the tent to try and reflect back some warmth and then if it gets really cold with this I can like try and get inside it almost because it's three-sided and then where's my other thing oh yeah and then I grabbed a little fire a little fire steel little ferro rod from Walmart and this all this stuff plus the tent came to $85 and they didn't have them in stock but I already had these I know I got it at Walmart and I know it's $15 a little Stanley cook pot so all that for a hundred bucks now like I could have done the whole you know go and buy everything at Walmart backpack everything you need spend a, a fortune on it but typically people don't do that right the, what I love about Walmart is it's if it's like okay we're going camping this weekend and you need to just go grab some stuff that's what it's great for and that's kind of what this is simulating like someone just says hey we're gonna go on a camping trip this weekend and you go oh I don't have time to order stuff online or there isn't a store near me I'm just gonna run to Walmart grab some gear so that's kind of what this represents and you, there's everything here that you need really for a hundred bucks like including this you got a way to start a fire, you got a way to cook some food, and you got stuff to sleep in. So, the question is, will it be comfortable? 40 degrees is the high today, so spring it's on its way, but then it's going to be in the high 20s tonight. So, we'll see how this fares. As you can see, I've got the emergency thing under the sleeping bag, and then the sleeping bag. I'm not going to lie, I got in there to to see what it was like and ended up falling asleep for like the past 15 minutes and it really was pretty cozy I mean it's probably mid 30s high 30s right now maybe a little less actually because it's pretty windy but but it wasn't bad it was quite nice although 15 minutes is very different to eight hours or so <laughs> laying on that sleeping pad but we'll see we'll see how it goes Okay, so as I mentioned before, not everything I brought with me is from Walmart. This is my silky gone boy, but you can actually get a little one just like this that's made by Fiskars from Walmart, and I think they're like 15 bucks. Uh, I didn't just because I didn't want to spend the money, but you can. Um, if you want to get cutting tools from Walmart, I would always look in the garden center section because typically the ones in there are better quality than the ones in the camping section. The ones in the camping section tend to be like pretty flimsy. Whereas like I say, the Fiskars one they have isn't bad at all. And my buddy James Pressler actually told me the other day that apparently Walmart has a bunch of stuff on clearance that they don't actually put a new price tag on. So if you download the Walmart app and you go into Walmart and you scan that product or scan a product, with the app it'll tell you if it's on clearance or not and he said there's a bunch of stuff 
in the camping section that isn't marked so you might be looking at something and be like oh it's 20 bucks I don't want to spend $20 on that but if you scan it with the app there's a good chance they might be on clearance and be marked down to like a dollar so if you're comparing two things like he was saying headlamps like the headlamps the energizer ones were marked down to like a buck fifty from fifteen dollars when he was in there the other day so it's like you imagine you went in and you want to get a headlamp and you're like oh, i don't want to spend fifteen dollars on this headlamp so you buy a cheap one that's like i don't know seven dollars half the price when really you could have got the better one for a dollar fifty so something to keep in mind so thanks james but yeah so that's what we got a little silky gone boy and then i got my stat gear survival knife that my stepson gave me for christmas because i figured that's probably one of the less expensive knives that i own so it'd be good for this trip but yeah we're gonna start firing get some food going <laughs> You can see that nice natural check in that wood. You see it in there. And that's one thing to remember with like firewood and cutting tools. You know, you see us with our bow saws cutting bigger pieces, but typically I find anything this size you know wrist size or smaller is better it just burns better a lot of the big really thick pieces like number one if it's a good piece of wood hardwood especially it takes a lot to split it uh, and you really need a good axe and also it tends to hold moisture and even when you get it on the fire it doesn't really burn very well it doesn't burn hot because even if you know a lot of logs that size that you put in your fireplace at home they've been seasoned for a year a lot of this stuff will still hold its moisture and you'll hear the moisture coming out the ends, hissing out the ends when it's on the fire. So something to keep in mind, you know. And another thing on cutting tools that's important to remember is you always have the least expensive cutting tool on you at all times. See, that's the thing. If you don't have a cutting tool, as long as you have a good dry piece of wood, you can always just kick the living piss out of it <laughs> and I guess that really is the point in this this whole trip and using this stuff is you don't have to get caught up on gear and food and all that stuff you know a lot of it that you see us doing is just uh, for content purposes you know what I mean camping at its core bushcraft at its core is about simplicity so you know it doesn't matter you don't need crazy fancy equipment you don't need to bring crazy fancy meals with you or anything like that just just enjoy it I mean people give me stick all the time because I always end up bringing hot dogs and things like that or I'm drinking drinking whiskey but you know uh six days out of the week i don't i don't drink alcohol and you know i exercise i try and eat right so when it comes to spending some time in the woods yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna eat hot dogs i'm gonna eat spaghettios and drink whiskey and, and you know enjoy myself just relax and you know the more you do it the more you'll realize the limitations in your gear and the more you'll want to invest in new gear as long as you stick with it because there's no point in going out and you know spending a fortune on all this fancy gear that you see people who are out every week using and then you decide it's not for you and it just sits there so anywho we're gonna split this up and we're gonna get some food on. I brought I brought some ramen to cook in the pot, but I did bring some 
extra little ingredients to zhuzh it up a bit, you know, a little, a little je ne sais quoi, a little bellissimo, you know. Right, and we're going to test out this fire steel and see how how well it does, a Walmart fire steel on some damp birch bark. Hey, little buddy. I guess spring is on its way, huh? You're out, little camp friend. What's up? <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get That's probably better How many, how many attempts is it going to take with the Walmart fire steel? This seems to be the best approach right now. Thing is, it's too short. I just can't get a good stroke on it.
thing is I can't there we go. Oh, that was close. I think maybe I've figured it out now. Yes, we got it. We got it. Probably should have done this where I was having the fire. We got it. We got it. Well, I definitely should have tried to light the bark over the actual spot where I was going to have the fire, but I didn't want to be kneeling in that soggy, wet fire pit trying to get it lit, but it did go. It just wasn't very long on my technique. Once I got the... put my knuckles like against the rock that I was striking on and pulled back, and that seemed to work a lot better. Give me a lot better spark with a bit more pressure. Well, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. 
I know I haven't posted an overnight video since that top camping video that I did recently and yeah my wife's grandma has been sick she was in and out of hospital last week and she's fine don't worry she's she's much better now nothing COVID related either which is good and it was just one of those weeks where I didn't really want to be didn't really feel like I wanted to be back in the woods with no service just in case something happened and like I say now she's out she's doing better and yeah I can sort of I feel comfortable being back out here does that make sense and I wanted to do this I wanted to do something a little bit different back to <laughs> back to basics back to the early days of camping like I mentioned before for the first couple of years I camped here in the States I had like a $30 tent from Walmart these that's the reason I have this Stanley cup thing is because this is that's the equipment I used you know when I didn't know all the stuff that I know now and I wasn't I was just getting into it shall I say then it was like the most affordable stuff I could get and it worked like I say the the tent that I had the $30 tent me and my wife used that all the time and that only got thrown away because it got used for one of my stepson's birthdays out in the backyard and they got put away wet and it got moldy so it had to get thrown away but if it wasn't for that we'd still have it so yeah the nice thing about this as well this tent is he can use that he's he's 16 now 17 I'm sure he'll have little camping trips that he goes on with his with his buddies like little overnight trips and you know that that tent there I believe it was $26 there's plenty of room inside so all that stuff he'll be able to use and you know the type of trips you take camping trips you take when you're a teenager you know just those sort of it's less about the camping more about just going out and having fun and you'll sleep sleep wherever so yeah he'll get some use out of it I'm sure apart from that uh, I've got so over the next couple of weeks kind of a little announcement for you guys which over the next couple months in the next within the next two months I will be going out to Idaho for the first time this year I'm going out to Idaho twice this year the first time I'm gonna be going out on a project and I'm gonna be filming actually I'm I'm gonna be filming someone uh, on a bear hunt they're going on a bear hunt and I'll be filming it and I'm gonna be sort of I'm gonna go and camp and vlog all my camping stuff for the channel so that should be fun I'm interested like you know this that's one of the things I've always wanted to do is go and camp out west and I'm excited for it so I've got we're gonna be I think the plan is to be out there for two weeks and the first seven days seven days will be up in well that's it once we leave the trucks we'll be out for a solid week and we won't be coming back so over the next couple of months, I've really got to like start getting some longer trips in, shall we say? And I've really got to start dialing in that pack and dialing in my gear. And we're going to be going ultra light. That's the plan: is to go ultra light. So everything that I'm going to be doing over the next couple of months with this stuff, you know, dialing in the bag, reducing weight, getting rid of any of my insecurities you know that really like getting rid of all the things that I don't need it's not a necessity is all stuff that you guys approaching into the summer and the spring months when everyone starts getting out and doing camping themselves it's all stuff that you can use to plan your own trips so we're gonna be doing like Chris who I'm going with you'll see him on the channel at some stage we're gonna be doing some uh, I think that our plan is to go on a trip together up here prior maybe in the next couple of weeks and then our plan is also to do like some bag dump stuff before we go so we'll both go through each of our gear because our gear is going to differ slightly and I'm excited for it I'm excited for it and actually in the uh, in October which is a long way away but this October I have a tag an elk tag out in Idaho for the Bitterroot Mountains so uh, grizzly country, grizzly country. And I think my brother from England, my brother-in-law Max, 
who you might meet on the channel, who you'll probably meet on the channel at some point, and Chris again will probably be going back out to Idaho to do that. So yeah, I'm excited. Gonna the plan with the channel was always to do some traveling, to be able to go and you know hopefully travel to different places and meet different people, people who've camped in these places, people who go out, people who live in these places. And yeah, that's that's what I'm excited about. I'm really excited about that over the coming year and next couple of years. So lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe in the next couple of weeks I'll have a different, another announcement for you guys. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, I think my duck leg, it was, the duck leg was already cooked. So I just had to heat it up. And I, I can see it in there boiling now in the broth. So it might be time to get that off and give it a try. Cheers guys, this is just the, the Japanese stuff, the Kojiki from the other week. Oh. Nice and cold, my little hip flask my stepson gave me for Christmas, which is great actually because it, it stops me having, well not having to, but stops me just going out and buying a fresh bottle every week sometimes I can bring last week's with me so let's try the duck leg shall we oh it's perfect perfect nice and hot it's tender got a little bok choy a little onion well shallot uh, mushrooms and that's it. A bit of ramen and some chicken broth. A nice, nice hearty meal. A bit of bone. But that duck looks perfect. It fit in there perfectly. And sticking out so I can grab it. Like I say, it was in the package already cooked, so it just needed warming up. And that's perfect. And like I say, a bit of bellissimo, a bit of je ne sais, not je ne sais quoi, you know what I mean. Delicioso, ramen, zhuzh it up a bit. Keep it simple, but just add a little bit extra to it, you know. So yeah, so now I'm just going to eat this and... Relax by the fire until it's time to go to bed. Well, I say that. Well, I say that, but I don't know. I wish I had a, a little sit pad. I don't want to bring my foam one from out there, in there, out here, but that might be the case. Something to sit on so I'm not on these cold rocks. But And it's snowing, on and off. It's snowing a little bit, which is nice. <laughs> well, good morning for the second time because I just realized 
my microphone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> oh. So, what did I say before? Yeah. It wasn't that bad. I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised at a sleeping bag. I do have the, the mylar over me. Um, 10 degrees Fahrenheit sleeping bag? No. Or is it okay? Down into the 20s? Yes, with this and my jacket on and everything. But um, what else? The tent, tent, good. Tent held up fine. Although I did lose a peg in this corner. I mean, that's always the case with uh, Walmart, right? Uh, what I found is the tent options are fine. They'll work okay. Sleeping bags, you can get away with a sleeping bag. Whether like a proper winter sleeping bag you can get away with, I don't know. I mean, they do sell liners and stuff there. But the sleeping bags work okay, especially spring, fall, um, summer. They're not going to be the lightest or the best quality, but they'll, you can get away with them. Like I say, tents you can get away with, but their sleeping pad options suck. They only have those massive inflatable mattresses that you use in your house, or they have these foam pads. So if I was going to do it, I would get a foam pad and then a cheap inflatable pad off Amazon or something. Just to give you a little extra cushion, because my shoulder and stuff hurt like it's hurting trying to hold the camera up right now, because you can only lie on your back or face down. You can't lay on your side, especially not, you know, like I say, I'm 200 pounds. You lay on my shoulder for a while and it just gets sore, so. So, yeah, I mean, I've been in here for a while. It got windy last night on that point, so I got in here and then <laughs> my allergies and my sinuses had just been bothering me all day. So, uh... Yeah, I, that's why I took a nap because I just they just make me so tired, my eyes hurt. And I was sort of watching a movie and passed out, and I was early. I don't know, probably like eight, seven, eight o'clock. And since then, I've just been in here tossing and turning, and I feel like I've done ten rounds of Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? Laying on the cold ground on this little foam pad. I'm spoiled, spoiled by these luxuries that I have, but yeah, anyway, if you like this, give it a like, a subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one because I am going to have to get up and get moving, I can't lie down anymore, burn up with bed sores, <laughs> alright, I'll see you later.